Hi, and welcome to another MakeMoreNoise.org screencast. Uh, today we're going to talk about some different ways of dealing with drums. Um, so, first thing to say is we've got uh, 18 bars here of your normal sort of drum setup, kick, snare, hi-hat, pair of overheads, and then three different tom mics. Uh, the first thing we're going to talk about is a function that's in Logic that's called Strip Silence, uh, which is like a permanent noise gate. So within parameters you set, it goes through and removes anything that it perceives as silence, which doesn't literally mean silence, just things that are a lower level than the other level. So let's have a quick listen to our loop. Okay, that gives you an idea of what the drums sound like in their raw state. Uh, as you can see here, we've got all the faders at zero, not even got any pans or anything at the moment. So we're going to work our way through these drums, getting them to sound a bit more like how I like them to sound. Uh, these drums were recorded by somebody else at another studio. So the first tool we're going to talk about is a tool called Strip Silence, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, so let's have a quick listen to the kick drum. Just going to mute all the other tracks by elastic banding them and hitting the key command M so we can hear just the kick drum on its own. As you can hear, we've got a decent level for the kick, but you can still hear the noise that's in between them. This is what engineers sometimes refer to as bleed. Um, it's not necessarily a bad thing at all, and if it's done tastefully, uh, it actually can be a really big part of the sound, but we're going to go for that sort of hyper-modern drum sound in this particular tutorial, so we're going to remove as much of the bleed as we can. So we select our region and hit Strip Silence. As you can see, it's come up with uh, some settings already set, and actually it's done a pretty good job of this already. So you can see our big peaks, which are the actual hits of the kick drum, and then between them you can see gaps, which would have been the things that were quieter earlier. So let's just go with what it's actually suggested or come up set to already there, hit OK, and then what you see you've got is uh, lots and lots of different small regions, each one of which hopefully should be a kick drum hit. So let's just get the zoom tool and we'll have a closer look. As you can hear, the snare drum's still bleeding through. Now, there's two ways you can deal with this. Obviously, you can go back into Strip Silence. So, we'll Apple Z and hit Strip Silence again. And we can take the threshold up to make it more aggressive. So, we'll try that with it set on 5, see if we can get rid of the snares that way. Still getting the snares bleeding through. Apple Z to undo, Strip Silence. Take it up to six and see how we get on there. Okay, we've got the odd random hit, which uh, that one was a snare as well. So at this point, we can go through and actually just delete them manually if we wanted to, or we can go back into strip silence and mess with the levels till we get exactly what we want. And that's an introduction to how you use strip silence to clean up a drum track.